Good morning, Oklahoma. I'm Mark Johnson, and thanks for joining us on Cow-Calf Corner. This week's topic is fertilizer at half price. Now, in a time of drought and inflation and higher input costs in production agriculture than we've maybe ever seen before, it was a pleasant surprise last week when I checked the cost of urea fertilizer and found out that it was about 43% of what it was a year ago right now. Now we're still talking about prices at $450 to $500 a ton, but as compared to where we were last spring, this looks a lot more feasible. Why are we talking about this? Well, following up on last week's topic, we know that if we've got improved grass pastures, something like Bermuda grass, Plains blue stem, in order to maximize the productivity of those, long term to keep everything healthy, soil, plants, tonnage of beef that comes off that pasture land per acre, those type of improved grasses require nitrogen fertilizer for the sake of maximum productivity. So we've got a linear relationship between the amount of nitrogen fertilizer that gets applied to the production of Bermuda grass. We've got the same kind of relationship to a lesser degree as we think about Plains blue stem. And so while times have been tough, I encourage producers to evaluate how much forage you're gonna need this year. Take inventory of your cows, whatever calves or different ages of cattle you're gonna be grazing. Think about the amount of forage that you need to produce. Study those tables that relate nitrogen fertilizer application to the amount of tonnage of forage dry matter we're gonna produce from improved grasses and take that into account now. Again, as we discussed last week, my belief is this spring it's gonna be important to get that nitrogen fertilizer down early or at the right time. If we're thinking about Bermuda grass stands that may have a little cool season grass mixed in with them, it's gonna take an extra level of management on those to make sure we get our nitrogen down at the right time to optimize the growth of that Bermuda grass. But we're gonna to have to apply that fertilizer in order to produce the tonnage of forage that we need. We've gotta do this for the sake of desirable plant species. If we under fertilize or cut back on fertilizer this year, the repercussions are less desirable plants growing, probably more undesirables, things like weeds creeping into our stand, brown, bare soil without any grass cover. So the importance of fertilizer is critical. Also take into account, we're addressing nitrogen fertilizer, but take a look at your phosphorus and potassium levels through a soil test. We're gonna to need to mix those into fertilizer applications as well. If our soil test needs it, if our soil test indicates that we need to do so, that's also gonna be critical to maximizing the productivity of those improved grass pastures. I hope this helps, and as always, thanks for being with us.